In this video, we'll go over the steps required to create a custom Garmin map for your GPS map 62. Uh, so in this example, you'll see uh, the use of Google Earth and the preview program. So if you're doing this on the Mac, uh, you'll do it uh, similar for the PC or Windows. So I just got uh, Google Earth open here. And uh, this is an example where I don't have any topo maps, but I'm going to an area and I do want some detailed uh, that's a little bit better than the base map that's loaded on. So just have Google Earth open here and I'm just going to fly into uh, Windsor, Nova Scotia. And that's pretty much the area where I want to focus on today. So we'll just zoom in. And I need to create an image overlay on top of this. And uh, I have here, I uh, just happen to have a topo map that I got from Natural Resources Canada. This is one of the newer topo maps that uh, they've released recently. So the area that I'm concerned about is here. So I'm just going to select an area. Uh, actually, I'm just going to select something like this. Like that. And I'm just going to crop it crop the image and once I've cropped the image I will do a save as and I'll just save the image I'll just save this on my desktop I'll save it as a JPEG like that and I'll save so there's my uh, cropped image so now with that saved I'll just close this and return to Google Earth and I'm going to uh, get rid of the search panel here. And I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to create, I'm going to name that Windsor. All right, and just click OK. And I'll just right click on the new folder that I created. And I'll add a image overlay like that. I'm going to click on the browse button to bring up my desktop and I'm just going to choose the JPEG that I just created and there you see it created behind right there. I'm going to slide the opaque uh, or the transparency slider down a little bit so I can see behind the image so I'm just going to move this out of the way and, and move the sidebar out of the way. So now we can see the map. And now all it is is just simply trying to align the map to Google Earth. So I probably need to resize this. So this is where the, uh, the fun is in this part. This is probably the, the longest part of the uh, process is to get your uh, image set up. So. This might take a little bit of fiddling. So we'll just see how this goes. Like that. Actually, that goes all the way down there. Uh, the best thing I found is you try to match it on top of the roads. And that tend to work a little bit better. Won't be a perfect fit. There's just some stuff that won't fit properly. Just going to zoom in a little bit tighter so I can see the downtown area. See what the difference is there. I'm just trying to match up as much as I can the uh, the streets. So do a little bit of that. Using the islands also that you see on the map. Try to make it work. There we go. How does this corner look? Semi-decent. Let's go down this corner here. I need to stretch that just a wee bit. Like that. Kind of looks good. I have to stretch the image just a little bit. Like that. Whoops. All right, other than that, 
think that looks good. All right, so once that's done, you switch the uh, slide, the transparency, all the way up. And you can click on the OK button right there. So we'll just click on that. And that's it. That's how uh, you overlay the image. So that's what it looks like. So now the final step is to save this image as a KMZ file. So we'll just right click on our folder and we're going to save place as and we'll just leave it at Windsor and we'll save it as a KMZ file. Click on save. Now once that's done we can switch over to our Garmin drive. So I have the MAP62 plugged in via the USB cable so I'm just gonna open up the drive. You can see here on the desktop here's my Windsor file so I'm just gonna open that up and you're gonna see again two folders when you first open up uh, your Garmin. You can see the documents, which is your owner's manual, but here you'll have the second folder called Garmin, which is where we'll go in, and these will be uh, the place where you want to drop in a lot of your f your extra files. Uh, the m folder that we're interested in is custom maps, so let's open that up, and you can see I already have two custom maps in there, and all I do here is just gonna drag and drop my KMZ file in there, and that is how you create a Garmin custom map using Google Earth.